In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may our Lord be with you, and we call to mind our sins. Jesus, you came to gather all the nations into the peace of your Father's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. You come now in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. You'll come again in glory with salvation for your people at the end of time. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. And we pray. Hear, O Lord, the supplications your people make under the patronage of the martyr, St. Blaise. Grant that they may rejoice in peace in this present life and find help for life eternal. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect hospitality, for through it some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful of prisoners as if sharing their imprisonment, and of the ill-treated as of yourselves, for you also are in the body. Let marriage be honored among all, and the marriage bed be kept undefiled, for God will judge the immoral and the adulterers. Let your life be free from the love of money, but be content with what you have, for he has said, I will never forsake you or abandon you. Thus, we may say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can anybody do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord Lord is is my my light and my salvation. salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord Lord is is my my light and my salvation. salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then I will trust. The Lord Lord is is my my light and my salvation. salvation. For he will hide me in his abode in the day of trouble. He will conceal me in the shelter of his tent. He will set me high upon a rock. The Lord, Lord is, is my, my light, light and my salvation. And my salvation. Your presence is not off. The Lord, Lord is, is my, my light, light and my salvation. salvation. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. King Herod heard about Jesus, for his fame had become widespread. People were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. That's why mighty powers are at work in him. Others were saying, he's Elijah. Others, he's a prophet, like any of the other prophets. But when Herod learned of it, he said, it's John whom I behead. He's been raised up. See, Herod was the one who had John arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, it's not lawful 
if you'd have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against John, wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be righteous and holy, kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. Herodias had her opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, the leading men of Galilee. His own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and the guests. The king said to the girl, ask me whatever you want, I'll grant it to you. He even swore many things to her, I'll grant you whatever you ask, even half my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, what will I ask for? Her mother said, the head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king, made a request, wanted to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of the oath he made and the guests who were present, he did not want to break his word. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back the head of John the Baptist. He went off and beheaded him in prison. He brought it in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl who gave it in turn to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came back and took his body and laid it in the tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. That's a gospel that we, we get a few times over the course of the year. We only get to Feast of St. Blaise once a year. Those are the rules. But we can learn something on the Feast of St. Blaise and the blessing of throats. Now, most of you here in the building, I can't speak for what's at home, are older people and are very sharp Catholics. That's why you're here on a bitterly cold morning. If, you, if you're watching at home from Florida, like my brother is, it's not bitterly cold down in Florida, but it's bitterly cold here. But there are, there are Catholics that we call PTA Catholics. And that's not Parent Teachers Association. That's palms, throats, and ashes. Now those days, they're here. That might have been more true before the COVID, but get, give the people something and they come. You know, give them palm and I see people I don't see all year. On Ash Wednesday, if you're here at four o'clock, it, 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 it's kind of, I don't think tickets for the Super Bowl <laughs> get any more excitement than ashes at the four o'clock service. I mean, there's people piling in, people heading out the parking lot, there's horns beeping for ashes, which are nothing more than palms from last year burned with the, a, a wick. We give out the Eucharist every single day. Every single day. And they should be f fighting to get in the building to get the Eucharist. That's a lot more important than getting your throat blessed or, or getting ashes on your forehead that, you know, wipe away in a couple minutes. It's always about the Eucharist. It, it's funny because, you know, as in the next two years, you're going to be hearing a lot about a Eucharistic revival as a national issue. We're going to have Eucharistic adoration with our own bishop here, for our area, our deanery, and don't hold me to this, but I believe it's March 14th. And there'll be one of those such Eucharistic holy hours done throughout the diocese over a period of about a month or so. And, and it's a focus on the reverence for the Eucharist, respect for the Eucharist, desire for the Eucharist, you know, which is a lot more important than getting your throat blessed or ashes on your forehead. How did we lose that? Nothing comes before the Eucharist if we really believe it's the real presence of Jesus Christ, nothing, nothing we do comes before the Eucharist, the altar, nothing. St. Blaise, I think, will always have a certain appeal. And we're all looking for healing and curing. Who isn't? Physically, emotionally, or spiritually. But the Eucharist is the great medicine. The medicine for the sick, the lost. Not a reward for the holy. Who can say they're holy? All of us can say that we are sinners. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to Almighty God.
The response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church's leaders will serve its members with humility and love before all else. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those with worldly power will work on behalf of those who are left out of the sharing of the power. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For their sick and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Billy Carson, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, we beg you to hear all of our prayers. Grant us above all else the desire for the Eucharist. You coming into our hearts at this very Mass may draw us closer to you. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Sanctify our offerings, Lord, we pray. By your grace, may we be set afire with the same flame of love which Saint offered and overcame every bodily torment. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours in Christ. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song of adoration. May our voices blend with theirs as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ended, he took a chance. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We share a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
After the final blessing, I'll stand in front of where Gerard is with the camera and offer the individual blessings for St. Blaise with the candles. Let us all stand to pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, Lord, give us the same determination which made your blessed martyr Blaise faithful in your service, victorious in his suffering. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us, our families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. In our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.